What's up guys? I'm Eric LaCour and this is the White Musashi. I'm still going through the footage of my Rio trip and this is a continuation of the Christ the Redeemer episode where we kind of do all the touristy type things that you would do as an American in Rio. We go to Sugarloaf Mountain, which is really awesome. And you can also, you can see Christ the Redeemer from Sugarloaf. So these are two of the top tourist attractions in Rio. So, uh, Thought it'd be really cool for you guys to check it out. And I'll be shooting, of course, one of the themes here is photography. And my favorite camera right now, especially for traveling, is the X100F by Fujifilm. Uh, let me grab it. This is it. You know, I, I still love this camera. Uh, I have might have had it right at a year right now. I just love how it works. It works like a film camera, but you get amazing uh, film profiles in it as well. So you're shooting digitally, but you're gonna have film profiles that give you this, the look of the different types of film that Fuji film is known for. So really good stuff. Check it out, hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all those things. steps at Lapa, we went to this really cool temple that had this amazing plate glass window. Definitely something I've never seen before and I've been to Rome and a lot of places and that place is really, really impressive. It was really, really cool. It's known as the Rio de Janeiro Cathedral or the Metropolitan Cathedral of Saint Sebastian. The church is dedicated to Saint Sebastian, the patron saint of Rio de Janeiro. It's built between 1964 and 1979 and designed in a modern style based on the Mayan architectural style of the pyramids. So we went to the red steps that are in Lapa and that is where like all of these uh, steps leading up into the neighborhood are tiled with red tiles and some of them are um just like artistic tiles that people have put in so and we actually found one from louisiana and there i think there was one for every state in there so yeah um josh got a video of of the louisiana tile yeah it was pretty cool yeah it was very neat crowded in there because it, it was a pretty narrow little street, but um, yeah, it was different. If you looked up on the power line, I saw a monkey walking across the power line. And then some dude came up and started playing the flute. And he started, it wasn't just playing the flute, he was beatboxing and playing the flute. There's an older dude over there, like, kicking a uh, soccer ball with his head and all this type of stuff. It was, it was pretty wild. Uh, then finally, we ended with the Sugarloaf Mountain which in my opinion, the two biggest attractions are Christ Redeemer and Sugarloaf, which interesting enough, you can you get a great view, the best view of each of them from the other one. So that's really neat, you know? So we started with Christ Redeemer, we ended with Sugarloaf, I, I enjoyed a lot. I, uh, I thought the cable car was, I was surprised at how quick it was. 
So Sugarloaf was really cool. Um, getting up to the top was a little bit scary for me. I thought, I thought the line moved well and I thought the rides were good. Meaning just they didn't drone on forever. So it's, you know, it's two stops. You go from the base of the cable car thing to the middle elevation point, the name of which escapes me. And then there's a second one from there up to the top of Sugarloaf. And being up there, the views were even more amazing than Christ the Redeemer because you're right out there on the water. And you really felt like you got a 360 degree view of Rio from, from up there. It was, it was, it was worth, the, worth the trip. I would like to do it again and go at night because um, I'd just like to see what the city looks like all lit up from up there. So that's one, that's one thing still on the bucket list but uh but i'm glad we went in the day too just so you could actually see you know to the horizon but i'd like to go back and do it at night too. all right we just finished the tour of the city now it's time for a power nap we were gonna go to aries to train that night Stay tuned to the next episode where we visit Aries BJJ and get a little insight on what it's like to train jujitsu in Brazil. And I will be bringing my X100F Fujifilm camera along with me.